So make sure you're wearing proper protection when handling the skillet. You have to be careful in life. You don't want to get burned. <laughs> it's so fucked up. <laughs>So here's a very fun dessert that we can do for date night. This is gonna be a traditional cobbler. We're gonna be making it with peaches and blueberries because those are in season. I'm gonna be giving you the fundamental basics on how to make a cobbler. This is the basic recipe for it. It's up to you to choose what fruit you like, just like it's up to you to choose what kind of lover you like. So for this recipe, we're gonna need a 10 to 12 inch skillet, four tablespoons of butter, four cups of fruit, one cup of sugar, one cup of milk, and one cup of flour. We're gonna need two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and just a pinch of salt. Now we're gonna take four cups of fruit. Since we chose peaches and blueberries, we're gonna slice the peaches into about quarter inch pieces and throw them inside a bowl. We're gonna add the blueberries to the same bowl as the peaches. And we're gonna mash the fruit lightly with our hands or with a masher. I prefer to use my hands and bring back those American pie, apple pie moments. If you're using frozen fruit, you actually want to let it sit and make sure you drain a little bit of the juices out of it because a lot of the water tends to be retained in the fruit. So when you're using fresh fruit, a little bit of mixing with your hands goes a long way. Now we're going to take the fruit and set it aside while we mix the other ingredients, allowing the fruit to macerate slightly. So we have a seasoned cast iron skillet. We're gonna take the skillet and the four tablespoons of butter and let those melt in our preheated oven, which is preheated at 350 degrees. After about 10 minutes, we're gonna take the skillet out of the oven and the melted butter is actually gonna go into our mixture of batter. We're gonna take our one cup of flour, one cup of sugar, two teaspoons of baking soda, and a pinch of salt. So lightly mix your dry ingredients together and then add your one cup of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we're gonna mix the batter and make sure there's no clumps in the batter from the flour. And by the time you're done mixing the batter, the butter should be ready to pour into this and mix it together as well. All right, so we're gonna take the four tablespoons of hot butter from the skillet and pour it into our batter. Now slowly start to incorporate the butter into the mixture. Once we have mixed the mixture, it's ready to transfer into the skillet. Using a spatula, we're gonna transfer the mixture into the skillet. Like when making love, always wear a glove when handling hot skillets. Make sure the batter evens out by lightly shaking your skillet. Once it's relatively flat, we're gonna take our fruit and just let it fall into the middle of the skillet. Our skillet is now ready to go into the oven, so 350 degrees for about 35 to 45 minutes, depending on your oven. The best way to serve this is with freshly made whipped cream like I taught you last time, or you can cheat a little bit and go with some ice cream. So there you have it, guys. Another dessert that you can make in less than an hour for date night, dinner night, dinner parties, you wanna bring it to somebody's house, you just learn how to make the basics of cobblers and one of the best tasting cobblers you've ever had. Obviously because I made it, but if you make it, it'll be pretty good too. We love to support local businesses. For today's recipe, we went with Dan Zeisen Dairy and Sprouts Farmers Market. If you have a product that we could incorporate that's made here locally, we would love to have it in one of our recipes. Tag us or send us a message.